set to kick off here, and it's not a home game for either of these teams. And now we bring you the coin toss. It's presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Oklahoma is ready to open this one up as they line up for the opening kick. He really got a hold of that kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. TCU's offense, a lot of times they can spread things out and they can really be versatile offensively, but when you've got a wide receiver like this, it really helps the cause. Well, it does, and it, and it continues to help with what they're trying to do. They're trying to find matchups, and when you have one player like this that the defense has got to be aware of, they're going to spread you out try to find a one-on-one -on -one matchup and if you spend too much time with this one player they've got some other weapons to make you pay for it from their own 23 yard line second down He's taken down around the 37-yard line. That one goes for good yardage and a first down. Yeah, that's just a nice gain on second down. He knows how to run. For the 20. Touchdown saving tackle, but it leaves them with a first and goal. So they pick up big yards on the option keeper. I thought he's going to break that one for a touchdown. You couldn't draw that up any better. So first and goal after that huge run. And they got him for a loss. The halfback loses about one on the option. Taken down around the six yard line. Maybe a yard on that draw play. That makes it third and this is from the five yard line. It's third and goal. Here's a handoff, and he saves the score. Really good play here and run support by the linebacker. The big guys up front took away the running lanes, and he was able to get through for a loss. TCU is looking to go up by three. Kicks away, and the field goal is good. And you got to think they're pretty happy with holding them to a field goal right there. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Sends it sailing downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. Now he's scrambling. And he's tackled at about the 37-yard line. Stopped immediately. That makes it seven and six. The cavalry's coming. That's a great tackle at the thirty two yard line. That makes it third and fifteen.
from their own 32-yard line. Third down. He goes downtown. He goes up and gets it. He's tackled at the 21. It definitely put them in better field position. I just have a feeling that they're going to punch it into the end zone on this drive. So with that run, they pick up another first. Just a nice job again up front by the offensive line. They're doing a good job of neutralizing the defensive front, and it's allowed them to move the ball down the field. He's on the run. Touchdown, Sooners. Outstanding run and great execution by the entire offensive unit, especially the blocking up front. Very important for this offense to get on track early in this game because if they find their rhythm early, it's very, very difficult for the defense to slow them down. He splits the uprights with the extra point. A six-play, 75-yard drive, and the result, seven points. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. at the 37. Looks like the defense played the run that time. With this offense, you've got to be ready for a pass on any down in any situation. First down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 37. Tries to fit it in there, and it'll be intercepted. Missed tackle, and they make the stop right around the 22-yard line. He came up with a fantastic interception there. Well, you know the quarterback is kicking himself for that one. He just made the wrong read. Oklahoma holds a four-point lead. Fires out to his wideout. It could be that the offensive coordinator is trying to lure the secondary in to play more press coverage, and then they'll try to take advantage by going deep. Those safeties better be ready. Tackle at about the 19-yard line. Setting up blockers or running backs got it on the screen. They'll bring him down at the 10-yard line. Complete pass and hit hard as he came down with it. Room around the corner. Touchdown, OU. And he converts the extra point. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. He's to the 20. And he just got stood up right there. Oklahoma's got people flying all over the field on defense right now. Boy, they sure do. Right now, we're just seeing great defensive effort. They have a plan. They understand it. They're playing with great speed, and they're not giving up big plays. That's why they're playing well up to this point. Quarterback couldn't maintain possession on their last drive. Let's see what he does here. He's got a lot of time to forget about that last pick. He's just got to stick to the game plan.
It's second down now. 13 to go. Ball on their own 21. Zips it to the back, and he tackles him hard at the 20-yard line. him hard at the 20. You know, the offensive play calling wasn't clicking on that last drive, and their execution was lacking. And that'll bring it in to the first quarter of action. Oklahoma's in front by 11. And we're back for more action here in quarter number two. Taken down at the 41. You think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead. And on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. He scrambled. He's at midfield. Tackle made around the 47-yard line. Quick throw out to the receiver. Brought down at the 32. Tackle there in space. That makes it second and two. Kill, kill, kill. He gets out to about the 22 yard line. Makes it out to about the 10. That's good for a game of 12 yards. First down. Mike 36. Mike 36. Kill, kill, kill. Green, green. Kill, kill. And he makes it out to about the 8 yard line. Makes the set to Call it a game of 2 yards. That makes it It's second down, 8 to go. 8 yards out. Throws it out and it falls incomplete. Number three was the intended receiver. Here's the eighth play of the series. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. This should be an easy field goal. Kicks up, and it's through the uprights. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He sends this one deep. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. Short over the middle. He's taken down at the 44-yard line. He had a couple of freight trains coming at him, but when they blitzed, it created a hole in the coverage, and they took advantage of it. Larry, Larry, Larry. 
First and ten. Ball on their own 44. Scrambling around. Quarterback's going to run it, and he's got room to work. Slides down. That'll bring up second and three. Mike 20, Mike 20, Mike 20. Roger, Roger. Check three, check three, check three. He gets to about the 41 yard line. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 41 yard line. Here's a running play. And he is drilled at the 39. That's a gain of two on the play. That makes it second and eight. Need to get it down to the 31. Mike 40, Mike 40, check, check. He's coming, he's coming. Let's go. Man, it can't hurt. Fires quick. He's got another one. And he's taken down at the 16-yard line. You know, I think that time, Brad, the defense tipped their hand with the blitz. You could really see the blitz was coming. And when an offense at this level knows that there's pressure coming, they can make the proper adjustments and then put those wide receivers in one-on-one -on -one opportunities against the defense. And when you blitz, you're really leaving yourself vulnerable to a big play against a good offense. Gets it out to his receiver, and he can't hang on. This is the eighth play of the drive. That makes it second and ten. Steps up in the pocket. And they bring him down for a sack on the play. That makes it second and ten. And here's another third down. Pass is caught. The defense lays him out. The kick is up, and he got it. TCU, kick this one off. Excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Sooners looked almost unstoppable in that first quarter. And Herbie, since then, it's not so much that way. Yeah, they've been sluggish here in recent uh, series. But I think it's important. They still have the lead. This is where some leadership needs to assert itself. And somebody needs to make a play to flip that switch to get this offense going again. The Sooners will use their first time out of the half. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Around an eight-yard pickup on the slant route from the quarterback. Well, the receiver does a nice job on his route. And how about the throw by the quarterback? Perfect execution. But when those two things are going well, the offense has a good chance of picking up big yards. 
So the pass was complete for a gain of five on the play, and that's good enough for a first down. The blitzer's coming in fast, but the quarterback stood his ground, found his receiver, and moved the chains. Fires quickly, and he's got his man, and he's tackled at the 47. You know what? After a play like that, I wouldn't be the least bit surprised if they went to the air again. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. He's tackled around the 37-yard line. They come out in a five-wide set. He airs it out. Throws, and he's got a man. Touchdown. And he tacks on the extra point. They line up to kick this one away. He really got a hold of that kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Horn Frogs have got to find a way now to get the football in this guy's hands. And I think about basketball players and a jump shooter. If you can't get him the, the ball, get him to the free throw line, and get him one free one from 15 feet. Or... I agree with you 100%. I mean, and this is one of those games where the defense has just been suffocating. They've taken this wide receiver out of the game. Uh, this offense has not been able to come up with some answers. I would continue to fight as an offensive coordinator and a play caller to find different ways to get this receiver a touch. And all it takes, Brad, as you said, is just one play to maybe create that spark and get this confidence established for this offense. Quick throw. First and 10. Ball on the 38. The Horned Frogs are going to call their second timeout. He heaves it deep. The defender had it and then dropped it. We've played a half. The Sooners lead 24-6. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. This is Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. The first half was a complete mismatch. We did not expect a margin like this. Now the question becomes, not only are you down on the scoreboard, David, but you're down mentally. What kind of toll does a beating like this team took in the first half have on your psyche? Well, when you come into a game and, and you're favored or it's supposed to be a really close contest and then all of a sudden you start getting kicked around, I think the first thing is, do I belong? <laughs> Am I really as good as I thought I was? And they got a second half to come out and prove it. But right now, they've had no answers whatsoever. Everything has gone the other way. Everything's gone poorly. Everything's gone bad. So if they're going to turn this around, they better start believing that they belong and come out in the second half and start making some plays. David and I will be keeping an eye on your game and everything else going on in the country here in our palatial and comfortable surroundings in the studio with the best seat in the house. Belongs to Brad Nessler and Kirk Herbert Street. Welcome back, everybody. Second half action about to begin. He just drills this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Oklahoma's game plan couldn't have imagined things to go this well. They've scored 24 points in a row. They're ready to begin another drive. After a decent run up the gut. That'll make it second and four. Just throws this one away. So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. They'll bring him down for a loss on the play. <laughs> Boy. 
booming kick. He's to the 40. And down he goes at the 44. Everywhere we go in college football, everybody's got a T-shirt that says finish, finish. Whether that means finish the game or finish the drive. Right now, this offense is moving the ball. But they're not finishing the drive. They've got to execute better down closer to the opponent's territory. He fights forward to about the 46. That's good for a two yards. That makes it second and eight. From their own 46-yard line, it's second down. He's on the run. Fumble! Picks up the fumble. He's at the 40. Inside the 30. The 10. He'll take it all the way for the touchdown. And he adds the extra point. Oklahoma yet set to kick this one away. Nice kick, plenty of distance. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. TCU's having a hard time doing anything on offense right now. Well, they've had some opportunities, but they either turn the ball over or obviously don't execute on third down and they're forced to punt. Uh, or their drive uh, ends up uh, stalling in a fourth down. But they're moving the ball at times. I think they've just got to take some chances at this point late in the game like this. Throw the ball downfield and hope that your receivers can make some play. Hey, that's a heads-up play there by the defender. Get those hands up and something good may just happen. From their own 25-yard line, second down. He goes out of bounds at the 28-yard line. That's good for a game of three yards. That makes it third and seven. Halfback's got it on the quick throw. And down he goes at about the 37-yard line. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 37. Fires out to his wideout. Tackle at the 42. Now he's scrambling. They'll bring him down around the 45-yard line. It's third down, and they're about two yards shy of the sticks. And they make the stop at the 41-yard line. such a reliable target. You throw it anywhere near him, and this guy's going to get his hands on it and make a catch. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 28-yard line. And he's hit immediately. That makes it first and goal. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. He makes it out to maybe the seven-yard line. From the seven-yard line, it's second down. He 
tackles him for a loss. These guys have the capability to gain solid, consistent yardage. They have to regroup, come out a bit more motivated next time. And this is the 11th play of the current drive. Quick strike to the receiver, touchdown. And a nice catch by the receiver for the touchdown. Anytime you're near the red zone, you got to keep an eye for this guy. They love going to him down here. And he converts the extra point. TCU is lining up to kick this one off. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And they can forget about returning this one. So you wonder what kind of excitement we'll see this time around. Fires that quickly, incomplete. From their own 25-yard line. Second down. Tackle made at the 41. That's a game of 16. First down. Watch 36. 36 to Mike. Oh, kill, kill, kill. Green 15. Throws a bullet. It's complete. Brought down around the 11 yard line. First down. Here he goes. That's a great tackle at the three. They'll drop him for a loss. They're at the seven. Third down. He's got to throw it in a hurry. He's wrapped up for the sack. So it's fourth down. This isn't much more than an extra point. That's three down and one to go. The Sooners with an 18-point cushion. Back in this very pivotal fourth quarter. Kicks away, and it splits the uprights. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Sends it sailing downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. So now the offense comes back out, hoping for the same success they had on their last drive. Caught out in the open. He's taken down at the 32. Number 23 on the They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Very good tackle in space. And he's 
taken down around the 41 yard line. First and ten. Ball on the 41 yard line. Hey, Mike 20, Mike 20. Crunch time. Delivers to the halfback on the screen. And they get him in the backfield for a loss. That'll bring up second and eleven. Need to get it down to the 31. Crosses out to the tailback on the screen. And he's tackled at the 40 yard line. Man, the defense jumped all over that one. No chance to pick up the first down there. That'll make it fourth and ten. down marker is that far away someone's got to step up and make a play on fourth down it just didn't happen for him here you aren't going to convert many fourth downs against this defense that's a really good stop both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead this defense has really got to step it up and make a stop brought down after a nice run up the middle Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Just under three to go in regulation. There he goes. And he has it on the corner. Makes it out to about the 29. First down. From the 29-yard line, first down. And they got to him before he could get back to the line. If these defenders continue to exploit the O-line like that, it's going to be a long day for this running back. It's second and 13. Ball on the 32-yard line. He makes his way to about the 22. That makes it 33. Quick throw. He's tackled around the seven yard line. That's a game number 15. That makes it first and goal. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. on the extra point. Oklahoma lines up for the kickoff. Excellent kick. 
This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. TCU's coaches have got to be scratching their heads right now. They know they have to go back to work and go back to work in a hurry. Well, the coaches are going to want to go back to work, and the players are not going to want to show up in the film room. They're going to be hiding after this performance. This was embarrassing. He gets to about the 41-yard line. He kept it himself and picked up a good-looking first down. Great execution and a good decision there by the quarterback. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on their own 41. Gains his way to midfield. The Horned Frogs call a timeout. That's their second of the half. gets rid of it. Nice run to the outside. The Horn Frogs, I'm sure, are secure in the knowledge that despite this setback today, they still have one of the best players in the country. Well, this is a devastating loss, but it's one that they're going to have to put behind them. And as you said, they still have one of the best players in the country. They don't need to deviate their plan, get back to really what they know, and that's getting the ball to their star player. And next week, I'm sure they'll be fine. Thanks for joining us for another game of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk and everyone here at EA Sports, Brad Nussler saying goodbye, and we'll see you next time.